Hi everyone and welcome to Football Therapist for this new video which is quite special because it's been a long time I haven't talked about data here but we're not going to talk only about that either because it would be a mistake to consider this revolution uh, at this level uh, as the only factor in the revival of TFC which have re-established themselves in Ligue 1. We can even talk about uh, a resurrection because they, they were doing quite badly in the second half of the last decade with relegation just avoided many many times but they, they were too far behind in 2020 to avoid going to Ligue 2. And that's when everything changed with the arrival of the American fund Redbird Capital Partners as owner, a company whose uh, shareholder is the famous Billy Bean who popularized the, the use of advanced statistics in sports, uh, first with his baseball uh, club for those who know Moneyball. As a longtime uh, admirer and, and later friend of Billy Bean, it's not surprising that uh, Damien Comoli himself was appointed president of Toulouse when they were uh, bought by Redbird, having previously been sporting director of several major clubs uh, and a pioneer in the use of these metrics in, in football. But before talking about data where Comoli learned from his mistakes, it's important to know that this resurrection of TFC would certainly not have been possible if Comoli hadn't succeeded in getting everyone on board at the time of the takeover when many were worried about what uh, would happen. What Comoli did was to first try to understand the environment of the club by interviewing all the, the employees of TFC but also important people in, in the city, former players, uh, fans, many of them university students, uh, as Toulouse is, is a student city, to simply base their plans on this uh, by de defining what style of play they, sh they should opt for, but for example also to know what would make people come to the stadium more. And also something that, that came out was that the only thing going well at that time was the academy, so the project now is that the first team plays like the academy, and not the other way around to integrate uh, the youngsters. But what they've best integrated since Comoli's arrival uh, are the recruits, and here we come to this revolution through data. With the company uh, Zilus Analytics, which belongs to Redbird, Toulouse keep um, uh, 70 leagues considered interesting under control, or better say, uh, 40,000 players. As the club wouldn't have the, the means to observe all these players with video or from the stands, the algorithms developed by Zilus allow them to reduce this pool to only a few hundred players, which will then be analyzed by the TFC scouts. And not only from a data point of view, but also with videos and maybe even from uh, on-site. So first, the statistical fil filter established by Zilus uh, analytics and only then an in-depth uh, study of the player. And speaking of data, you should know that these advanced stats, everyone has them today with the different uh, suppliers uh, that exist. The key actually lies in the development of algorithms based on the statistics, which is why the clubs associated with data scouting have a true research and development department in this field with mathematicians, uh, physicists, statisticians, engineers, etc. who are hired or as in the case of Toulouse, it's a company that takes care of this. And the basis of all the algorithm research um, at Zillus as well as at other clubs is to know to what extent what a player does increases the probability of scoring a goal and respectively increases the probability of not conceding a goal, which boils down to studying to what extent each action of the player in question can possibly favor the balance of expected goals the famous XGs. Even if it's a very closed world, there is still an example of an algorithm that has become famous, and that is one of Conte when he, he played for Caen. Conte was the player who delivered the most passes leading to goal chances following a ball recovery on his part. And to do that, uh, he obviously had to recover a certain number of balls, so there was certainly this great capacity of anticipation behind it, but he was also surely well anticipating by already taking the, the information of where he could then play the ball. So if we go back to this idea of his team's expected goals, the probability of uh, significantly increasing this value was very low before Kante's interventions, which was often no longer the case at all after such actions from him, because Kante 
tended to be more uh, able to have dangerous shots afterwards. What to lose are then also happy to have is a translation algorithm, as they call it, which is uh, used to estimate how well a player uh, X can adapt to League 1, depending on where he plays and how long he will likely take to adapt. In a slightly different way, there's also a study of this type that is done when the club is looking for a new coach to ensure that there's a good match between the, the style of play sought by the directors and that which characterizes the, the manager. That's how Philippe Montagny was chosen, in fact. With between others, um, a pentalingual team manager to facilitate the adaptation of new recruits, uh, all studied from a mentality point of view before uh, deciding on them. The human aspect should surely not be neglected either by data or better said, artificial intelligence in this case that it's now apparently uh, also possible to automatically analyze the sp statements that, made, uh, that players make in the media and their activity on social networks to have um, a psychological uh, profile of them beforehand. Perhaps the video game uh, football manager also plays a role here as commonly announced in 2020 that they would also use the game's database to complete their own, their own one. And as this is not something that is usual, this statement made uh, many people skeptical at that time and rightly so as commonly has by far not always been as successful as it is today in, in the south of France. Indeed, uh, some remembered the huge sums spent on Andy Carroll and Downing when he was at Liverpool where he had been misled by the data. He, thought, he had thought that by having the, the best finisher on crosses, uh, Andy Carroll, and the best crosser, Downing, on the market, the Reds would become a scoring machine, but he must uh, have underestimated the fact that such a circuit can be defended more easily than a, a more unpredictable versatile attack. So commonly surely overestimated the importance of certain stats rather than, uh, than others, which is why he has since instituted a, a real process for every single decision to be made in, inside the club to avoid bias. For one thing, he never makes a, a decision without someone else first looking for counter-arguments that he might uh, not have thought of. And in terms of scouting, it's always about five people who discuss uh, according to, to the following plan. The question is asked, each person uh, reflects about it on their own, the conclusions uh, are then shared to have a table with the different possibilities and the arguments, while each person will then have time to make up their mind on their own before the, the decision can then be taken in group. Another way commonly tries to promote be better decisions at all levels is to have a woman in these groups, uh, an idea taken uh, from the United States. They have noticed there that they, that when there are only men discussing, it ca can end up being a battle of testosterone uh, rather than one of arguments, as commonly would say, while men are more careful to behave when a woman is present. Of course, th this isn't uh, a general law, but beyond their skills, it's a plus that these employed uh, women can bring. It's therefore not surprising that, is, that it's at TFC that we find the first professional uh, female scout in France, Julia Arpizou. More generally, uh, Gomely looks for ways to improve his club where others do not and, not, and not only by looking for players in the Dutch Second League or in Bulgaria because it's cheaper, but also by asking for the services of throw-in speciali specialist Thomas Gronemark, for example. It remains to be seen whether the whether TFC will be at the forefront in other areas in the future, but what is certain is that with such a resurrection, with a city that has reconciled itself with, with its club, with superb capital gains and magnificent moves on the transfer market, Comalis walks surely caught the eye of AC Milan, the other football club owned by uh, Redbird Capital Partners. At the beginning of the year, there were rumors that the French president might leave for the Lombardi club in the future, but even if this is, doesn't happen, the, the walk of these two clubs will still have to be followed closely because of their collaboration with Silus Analytics. And e even if he were to leave the Redbird group one day, we will also have to keep an eye on what Kamali does, as other resurrections like this one could well happen with him. That's it for me. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on similar content. And if you liked the video, don't forget to drop me a like, tell me in the comments and share the video with someone you know. It would really help me a lot more than you think. Bye-bye.